Good morning. Uh, happy Thursday. We are halfway. No, we're not. We're over halfway there now. It's perfect. Well done. Okay, great. So, what are we doing? Today, I am doing upper body stretches with you guys to help you. They're actually effective stretches to help you get rid of back, neck, shoulder, and upper back pain. So, anything around this sort of area. And even at the front here, if you've woken up feeling a little bit stiff, stiff, sore or achy this morning, especially in those areas, then come and check it out. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm, le I'm literally here every single day, Monday to Friday at 9am, to talk about the importance of movements and give, give good examples of movements to help you tackle the everyday aches and pains that we seem to be suffering with, especially now that we're in lockdown, and most of us have been for nearly a year now. Um, so with that comes a lot of immobility, and that increases um, everybody's experience with their stiff necks, sore shoulders, and all that jazz. Um, today is a dedicated upper body day, especially for neck, shoulders, and upper back. But I do, throughout the week, cover the whole body. So on Mondays we do a full body stretch, which is great for every single morning. Then uh, I do a hip stretch, and I also dedicate this to upper body. And then we also do chats, postural chats, and uh, specific pain points. But today is all about moving that uh, upper body so that you can start to feel some relief if you woke up a little bit stiff, sore and creaky, then this is definitely something that you want to check out. Um, and if you work all day or you sitting down all day or in one position for too long and you think that that's the reason why your uh, neck and shoulders are hurting, then this is also going to help you out as well. Don't know me. Hi, my name's Lisa. I am the Health and Confidence Coach and I am here to help you guys feel better within yourselves and about yourselves and so you can have good days rather than focusing on being in pain. So this is suitable to be able to do at your desk. So if you're midway through the day and you're like, oh God, my neck's starting to creak or whatever, then you can take a moment to stop what you're doing and go through this uh, little mobilization sequence that I'm gonna show you. And uh, it will help. If you, if you are suffering with this uh, stiffness and soreness, couple of pointers are make sure or check that your desk is set up properly if you're working from home make sure it's set up good for you um, and if you're not too sure how you're going to set that up in a great way for you just send me a little message and I can send you some pointers it actually used to be my job once upon a time a few years ago so I can help you out there um, if you are suffering with this uh, daily then try to get this mobilization in uh, daily at least daily so here's what we're going to do you can be sitting or standing for this but i always love to tell you to actually stand i know it can be super tempting to uh, carry on being at that desk most of us are eating lunch at that desk and uh, really your body needs a little bit of a break from being held up in uh, this position for far too long so i'm always going to ask you to take a moment to step away from the desk so that your body gets a little break and that you can realign uh, without still being stuck there in that position. So let's get on with it, shall we? Nice. We're going to start by doing some very gentle uh, look at the floor and then we're going to have a little look up the ceiling. We do this nice and slowly. And the reason why we do it slowly is so that you can actually get the full range of motion that you are working in between. And that's quite, kind of like when you feel like, oh, okay, I can't really go much more there. That's great. I'm just now going to go and have a little look all the way up at the ceiling. And I'll see how far I can look up at the ceiling without it hurting. And then I'm going to bring it back down and have another little look down at my chest. You notice that as you do this, every time you look up, there might be a tiny bit more movement every time you look down. It's important not to force these movements because we're just working within our range of motion. <laughs> Love it. Good morning, whoever that is that's sending me all those beautiful hearts. That definitely cheers me up in the morning. I wonder if it's sham. Whatever. Okay, perfect. What I'm gonna do is, we've done up and down, up and down. 
you can be free to do that up to 10 times. Um, but make sure that very gentle movements, just so that you just tease in the stretch there. From there, we're going to go from the left shoulder and we're going to bring it over to the right shoulder. And we're going to do it again. Nice and slow movements. So they're not fast, they're not jolting, they're not forced. I'm just seeing it where it goes to and again how far it can go to. Here's something that happens when we do these, these exercises that I've been showing you, that your shoulders love to get involved. If you feel like your shoulders are really wanting to help you out with this, then what I want you to do is focus on uh, sticking your chest out and we're going to get them shoulders back. Nice. And then I really want you to plug your heels into the floor and squeeze your bum so that the rest of you is stabilised and uh, then you've really just got a good chance of just your neck making that movement. Again, you can do this one up to 10 times, however much it feels good. As you've been doing that, you might notice that just these neck nods and twists would have been play, well, you would have felt it up across the top of the shoulders and even across the top of the back of the neck there, across the top of the back. Um, and that's because we're just starting to give it the movement that it deserves. And sometimes when we don't move our neck too much, that's when it starts pulling on the upper back. That's when it starts pulling on the shoulders. Um, and that's why a lot of people feel like that they have just gotten themselves a bad upper back with age. But actually it could be down to the way that you're sitting. It could be down to the fact that you don't do much movements with your neck. So um, I'm doing some nice little half circles from shoulder to shoulder. Probably do about 10 of them as well, why not? Nice. And again, the important thing is, is that your body does not get involved. It's not your body's job to move your head. It's our next job to do that. Perfect. And as you get better at this, you can really tuck your chin in and have a good look over there. Tuck your chin in and have a good look over there. And then again, you're going to do it uh, for the top half. And if your body's getting involved, you're just going to give it that great engagement. We're going to push our heels into the floor. We're going to squeeze our bum. We're going to focus on just our neck making this movement. Perfect. And we're going to do about 10 of them. And yeah, I know this is quite a lot of movements just for that neck, but I tell you that there's quite a lot of pain that we experience because of lack of movement in the neck. As I was just saying, the top of the shoulders, the top of the back, even this uh, part at the front, it can feel like a chest. Um, even here, actually, that can all be caused by uh, uh, not having much movement in the neck or immobility of the neck. Perfect, so I've done all my circles, great. Next, I'm going to move on and I'm going to help my shoulders out now. So what I want us to do here is, uh, if you are in your desk and you're feeling like you're not going to get up, that's cool, we're going to roll our shoulders all the way back. But one thing I do want you to be careful of if you are sitting down in your chair again, is that this is just a shoulder movement, it's got nothing to do with the rest of your body. So you're not going to sink your head into your shoulders. We're not pulling our head in, we are just rolling those shoulders. We're going to do 10 rolls, backwards, shoulder roll, yeah, nine, perfect, and then we're going to bring it round and we're going to do 10 good shoulder rolls, all the way back. Again, be careful, it can be so tempting to crunch yourself into this because we I don't know what that is, but we will do that sometimes. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. This is not a neck movement. This is a shoulder movement. So we've done our 10 each way there. Perfect. What I'm going to get you to do next is uh, pop your arms together for me. So we're going to have, yeah, just like that. Perfect. And then what I want you to do, keep your elbows together. Make sure that you're not leaning back into this. We still want a nice, strong core. Good. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to open it. Yeah, nice. And then you're going to close it. Perfect. We're going to open it. When we're opening it, we're opening it with our shoulders at the back and then we're going to close it. 
Perfect. So we're going to do five of these. Open it. Close it. And I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together at the back there. Nice. We're going to do about ten of them. Don't ask me to count. Perfect. Seven, I think. Oh, cool. That one can be seven. Let's see. Nine. God. Ten. I hope. <laughs> Okay, we'll just witness how bad that counting was for real. Okay, so we've just done a nice little bit of shoulder there and a little bit of chest to help out the shoulders that may be hurting you. And also, uh, there's this one that I love to do um, at the desk. You can do it standing up. I prefer it standing up. What I'm going to get you to do is uh, have your hands interlocked and they're going to face you. Yeah, nice. Then what you're going to do is you're going to reach up. Yeah, you're going to start to reach up. As you reach up, you're going to push them so that, that your palms are now facing the ceiling. And I just want you to check that you haven't put your back into it. Yeah, we don't put our back into it. We're just going to give it a nice engagement. Um, if you're standing, you're going to anchor and squeeze your bum. Good, so I've gone for a nice little reach up and a push up up there. Yeah? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it round, turn my hands into me and I'm going to pull my belly button in and I'm going to do a little reach over. Nice. Perfect. From there, I'm going to turn it out and I'm going to take it back up and I'm not going to put my back into it. I'm just going to have a nice little stretch up and I'm going to point my fingers, uh, well, my palms up to the ceiling. I'm going to turn it round, I'm going to tuck, well, I'm going to breathe my belly in and I'm going to have a reach over. There, nice, perfect. We'll do a few more of these. And this is a great, great little mobilisation. So we haven't done too many moves there. You probably would have taken about five minutes, three to five minutes out of your day to do this. And your neck and your shoulders will be feeling amazing. If you do suffer uh, with this, Sorry. If you do suffer with it, um, with those aches and pains, then I would do this more than just once. Definitely more than just once a week because uh, the issues that you're having is a weak, uh, weak areas of supporting muscles around the joints. So the more that you do these movements that we don't really get to do, or these or these, the more that you're actually strengthening those assisting muscles and when they get nice and strong, that's when you start to feel less pain because you actually have the strength to support the movements that you want to do. Um, I was a bit quick to jump out of there, but I think that you should do about five of these. Don't have to do ten. I'm going to point them up and then you're going to reach over, suck your belly button in and have a reach over there. We'll do a couple more. Also notice that my back does not get involved with any of this movement. So I have a nice little stretch up. My back is in the same position. Perfect. I'm going to reach it over. My back is in the same position. Yeah, nice. Perfect. I'm going to do one more because I definitely can't count and I want to do five. I feel like I've done six, but hey, it really doesn't matter. The more the merrier. And then I'm going to suck my belly button in. I'm going to have a little reach over there. Squeeze my bum and see how far I can reach over. Nice. And there you go. Very short, simple mobilisation technique uh, routine that you can get your teeth into. And actually remember that one uh, for yourselves and take it for yourselves while you're sat there at the desk. Very good morning to everybody that has popped on today well done good morning i knew that was you sham that was you sending me all that love hearts wasn't it i was like oh i love you so much thank you okay great perfect thank you all so much for watching that if you do have any questions please do let me know because i am right here also um in a couple of weeks i am going to be doing a free workshop on kettlebells and dumbbells it's happening in a couple of Saturdays. So if you've got weights hanging around your house and you're like, yeah, really should use those, sign up. Or if you've got them and you really do want to use those but you don't really know what moves that you can do, 
then sign up because I'm going to be showing you some great movements, some great form of how to do it properly and you'll be able to walk away with it feeling confident that you can use your weights and put it into your own workouts so that they're not sat there gathering dust anymore. Yes. Nice. Okay, my lovely people. I'm going to wish you very well. If you do find my stuff useful, please give it a share because I'm sure that if you're finding it useful, you definitely know someone else that is suffering that could use a little bit of help. There we go. Nice. Have a very lovely day. If you're watching later but you've got any questions, especially about the workshop, the kettlebell dumbbell thing, please just shoot me a message um, and I will always get back to you. Adios. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.